cluster of them. Yeah, usually. I'm gonna zoom in there. Interesting cluster of sea stars. Uh, questions come in about what the starfish would be feeding on down here. The um, starfish? Yes. Yeah, so they're probably just feeding on the de on the detritus that's on the seafloor. Great, excellent. We got a herd. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that's right. That's a herd the of uh, sea pigs. group name for a sea cucumber. A herd. And we've got a deep sea sole with its beautiful purple patterns. Yeah. That is very beautiful. Can we zoom on the sole video? Sure. Oh, yeah, we haven't had a great picture of them yet. Uh, yes, so there are RC cucumbers there that you can see around the sole. Wow, and lots of tiny little starfish as well now oh that yeah. we've zoomed up close. Okay, full wide. No! <laughs> oh, let's get the... Uh, the tumbling holotherium. <laughs> there you go. Can we zoom in closer there? Sure. Cute. <laughs> Josh, did you just say they were cute and yet the eggfish you can't stand? Let's see, this one's got a better color on it. Uh, <laughs> more redeeming qualities. Oh, there's a tie rat fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what that is? <laughs> so we've got a, uh, it's still attached, but a, a looser cable tie than we did before. Uh, from when we removed previous instruments from the porch. So that's the white thing you can see in the, the bottom of the screen, rather. Can we zoom in on this fella? Sure. And that may be a rockfish. I want to say a yellow-eyed rockfish, but I'm making that up. But some sort of rockfish. My chart didn't roll over for days. So I was wondering why the, the time to go was wrong. You got a couple link cards there to the right. Can you pan it yeah. right? Let's go see Look the link card. Look at the starfish all around that circle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's uh, uh, what once was a jelly. Jelly. Oh, yeah. okay. Good eyes. Video, you can zoom there. Oh, we still have the tie wrap fish. Yeah. Let's see if I can focus better. No. Nope. Yep. Okay. We're rolling them. <laughs> that one with the starfish was cool. It looked like they had that jelly all stretched out between them. Yeah. Can we zoom on this guy? Sure. Hey. 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 This is your close up. What is that? I don't know. It's a fish. Zoom in on that one. They, um, oh. They, oh, yeah. They curl up to drift in the water column. It's uh, less energetically taxing. And then when they've decided they've reached a happy spot, they'll go back to swimming. Huh. A lot of uh, some, a lot of organisms will do that. The swimming sea cucumbers we were seeing in the Caribbean, okay, in wide. along low latitudes, will often uh, swim up Sorry. into the water column, drift for several hundred meters, sometimes more, and then settle back down again um, because they're looking for either trying to disperse or trying to find better food sources. Can we zoom on this guy? Oh. Uh, of course. Pretty timid. Sable fish. She's also called a black cod or a variety of different types of cods depending on what region you're in. Black cod? Yeah, there, there's a variety of different names. Is it actually a cod? Ah, uh, that's a good question. Let's double check that. Diff totally different body structure. So, according to Noah, it looks like sablefish are known as black cod in the U.S., U.K., Canada, blue cod, bluefish, candlefish, coal cod, or oh. coalfish in the U.K. So it's very regional, depending on what that hmm. name will be. But sablefish themselves are not the same as cod. They're just in the UK, they're that. probably found more often uh, lightly battered and wrapped in newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> um, to our pilots, we've had a question about uh, how fast we're moving at the moment. Oh, uh, around a half a knot, maybe a little less. At least one hagfish. Go ahead and zoom in on that, Mayor. A couple of anemones. Interesting. I don't know what that circular... 
probably another kind of anemone. Yeah. That yellow one? Yeah, the yellow circle. Looks like a patch on a bicycle tube. Yeah. Uh, what's the, uh, these are clams. Yeah, there are little clams. Uh, I think some of maybe brachiopods. Brachiopods. Something different, maybe just because we got a hard substrate for a change. Okay, but I don't see any seeping. No. Can we zoom in on that fish straight ahead of us? Go right ahead. Just trying to see. It's shiny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's got yeah. little pectoral fins, which the hagfish don't have, so that's something else. So this is a short spine, thorny head. You can see the spines on its back a lot shorter than some of the other species we've seen on this dive. And that zoomed in, you can see tiny little fish. All the brittle stars, and some people wondering what brittle stars eat, they are filter feeders and detritivores. Making this an ideal location for them. That's right, it is brittle star paradise. There's sediment and food in the water column. It's missing a leg. Yeah, I was just, I counted that so many yeah. times, I was like, it looks wrong. One of my biggest pet peeves is seeing images of lobsters on the internet with 10 walking legs, because lobsters only have four pairs of walking legs. <laughs> <laughs> and one pair of modified appendages as claws. Biologist humor. <laughs> What's that uh, crab covered in? Urchins? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he has a lot. It's like uh, zoanthids, actually. Yeah. No, they're probably not parasitizing the animal, but they definitely will come off when the animal molts. Oh yeah, of course. So they're they're a kind of a epi. There's like a, a genus named Epizoanthus. I think it might be that one. But they're li they're like uh, zoanthids are like miniature anemones, related but not the same as anemones.